As you probably noticed in the unusual video intro that I made, today something quite different and specific is on the plate. I'll be showing you a headband shape action camera which comes in 5 different colors and weights around 97 grams. It allows you to shoot videos at 180p 30 frames per second and has an 8 megapixels Sony IMX 179 image sensor which creates a true 8 megapixel photographs. Additionally, it has a built-in Wi-Fi that supports external microphone. One of the most interesting features of this camera, besides its shape, is a cloud storage which allows automatic sync of your videos and photos up to 10 GB size. At this moment this camera is priced around 160 bucks. So is this innovative piece of gear just an innovating piece or can it really replace some of the other action cameras in this price range? Let's find out. When it comes to packing there is quite a bit of resemblance between the box design of X1 and Xiaomi Yi. Box in which 4AM comes is made out of thick cardboard and unlike some other action cameras it is quite flat and minimalist. Obviously, you do not have to be a genius to realize that 4AM does not come action-packed with accessories, gear and all other bells and whistles included in the box. This is quite basic stuff and I would dare to say that these accessories here are pretty poor for its price. I really expected a few more things. But on the other hand, there is really a good reason for this. Camera cannot be attached to anything but head. So it would not make much sense to include anything but the head mount itself. However, I really would love to see that they added a wall charger at least and another velcro stripe. Those two pieces are not expensive but they would make this whole package much more useful. It is quite obvious from looking at the camera right away that it is designed to be different. In the sea of Chinese manufacturers producing same square shaped cameras aimed to look similar or in some cases identical to GoPro, 4AM is quite a refreshment. And in a way it seems that they've gone a bit too far trying to defer themselves from the competition. With that in mind I do not think that this camera will be interesting to uh, an average action camera consumer. It will be interesting to people who like new stuff and people who need specifically a camera only for their head to record video or take photos. I really do not see typical action cameras user using this. X1 is definitely well built and well crafted camera. It is one of the neatest in terms of appearance as well. Minimalist as it is, it is also easy to operate and it comes in multiple colors such as green, pink, red, orange and black in my case. If you saw me or anyone else wearing this camera, I bet that you wouldn't notice the amount of buttons that it has, because all of them are quite well hidden. When mounted properly, most of these buttons are really not visible. In order to see them, you need to turn the camera on its back. And let's now take a look at what each button here does. So up here we have power on or off button, which is also used as mode switch button. And it allows you to not only turn the camera on or off, but also switch through different modes. And this camera supports three different modes, photo, video and time lapse. Second button here is the Wi-Fi button. And of course you can turn on the Wi-Fi, camera has a built-in Wi-Fi and it will allow you to connect to the app and control the camera remotely and change some basic settings. I'll show you app and how it works in just a moment. Here we have a neatly hidden USB and memory card compartment and it also has a reset button. And I use this button actually three times because my camera froze three times upon a few weeks of testing it, I do not know the particular reason. But when I restarted it, all the functions were working perfectly. Here we have the LED indicator and it indicates the mode in which camera is, either photo, video or time lapse. Up here is a speaker and the lens, of course, on the front. Next to it is a charging or battery indicator. We also have the Wi-Fi indicator and external microphone port, as well as the speaker and the battery compartment here. There is one thing that really blew my mind when uh, I tested this camera and that is the voice command that it has. So basically whenever you press a certain button, you will hear a sound of the speaker that you heard at the beginning of this video as well. And this voice command is something that I really liked and it was very handy because the camera was mounted on my head. So normally it's very hard to know if you're recording, if you're photo or video mode, but with this camera you can easily know whether you're recording in video or you're shooting photos in photo mode or if you're shooting a time lapse. Camera will also tell you if you're stopped or started recording, if the camera has turned on or off, it will also warn you if the battery level gets low. Ok, let's now take a look at the video samples. Video output bitrate is around 
1500 uh, kilobytes per second and uh, while the video colors are okay I noticed that the main cone is stabilization. I forgot to mention that the camera has field of view of around 87 degrees which is quite a narrow for an action camera. Because of the narrow field of view this camera is quite shaky. Besides that I found camera quite easy to use in action and it did not require much tinkering. It was just simply turn it off, press recording and here we go. In order to start recording you need to press this recording button on the right side of the camera and if you're right handed that is great but if you're a left handed person that might be annoying and it might take some time to get used to. When you start recording a video there is a second delay before camera actually starts to record. That is not a huge deal but for some people in extreme sports second matters so it's worth mentioning. Besides recording, camera can also take 8 megapixel still images and, and since photos can only be judged by actually looking them, similar to video, take a look at few photo samples that I took and do not forget if you would like to download raw images, untouched samples, uncompressed, uh, please uh, visit my website, I will put a link uh, where you can download samples and preview them on your own PC and if you are seriously considering of getting this camera that is highly recommended. 8 megapixels here as you can see are quite enough for social media and those type of images. You see here how the image look when it's cropped 100, 200 and 300% and already at 300% it, it starts to be blurry but at 100 and 200 or 1 and 2 times zoom it is perfect, I really cannot complain about it. I mentioned that colors in the video are natural, nothing too vibrant or vivid and same goes for photo. Um, 
And that allows you a bit more space for boosting colors in Photoshop or other image editing softwares if you, that's something you like. Camera has a bit slower shutter speed and it takes a second before it takes a photo. In some instances it is absolute crap because you're capturing action footage some of your images, not all, will look a bit blurry, but when you're capturing water, for instance, it will give a beautiful silky effect that you now can see in this photo. Absolutely amazing. One of the biggest issues with this camera is that it does not have an LCD or a viewfinder, and in order to know what you're recording, you need to connect to an app and preview the footage live. In some instances that is okay, but sometimes you really do not want to use your phone. For instance, I was hiking and I really could not be bothered to go with my phone in order to see what I'm recording and shooting. So if you're obsessed with photography and all those rules about uh, composition, you definitely will not find this camera easy to use. But if you just want to snap photos, share them with friends online on social media, this is quite good camera. One of the questions that people will ask is, will they look a bit dorky wearing this on their head? And it is very hard to answer it, it really depends if you give a damn what other people think about you. Since I really do not give a damn, I wore this camera absolutely on a hiking trip and actually uh, when I had a winter hat on it, nobody even noticed that I have a camera because mine was black, my hat was black, so it is not as dorky as it seems on uh, manufacturers' posters that they have. Uh, I mean, look at this guy, would you wear this on your head? No. In the reality, you will wear it a bit above your forehead, so it really does not look as dorky as this guy looks here. X1 is one of those cameras that have a small amount of options and do not give you much creativity. So basically here you have a register camera which allows you to connect it with your forum account if that is something that you wish. LED in the indicators here, you can turn them on or off. Be aware that you should not turn them off while having the speaker at mute because you'll no, have no idea if you're recording or not. So either turn off the LED indicators or, or the speakers, never turn them both off. Here you can change video resolutions, here you have speaker volume if you do not like voice commands, I like it and I keep it at high especially when I'm outdoors and I love how people look at me like I'm out of space when they hear start recording. Okay, here we have language, you can change from English and Chinese and you have here time lapse interval, you can change uh, the time lapse from 0.5 second or up to 60. Format memory card of course erases all data on your card and firmware version here shows latest software version of your camera. If you need more advanced instructions on how to operate the camera, how to connect the app, upgrade the firmware and plenty other things, I explain that in detail on my website and I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can learn more. Okay, camera uses 1160 mAh lithium ion battery. I have no idea how to replace this battery. It says that it is replaceable, but I really could not open it. I have no idea, really. If someone knows how to open this damn camera and uh, pull out the battery, please let me know. Otherwise, the battery of this camera is absolutely amazing. In my tests, it gave me around 236 minutes of continuous recording in 180p 30 frames per second, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Other action cameras from China usually give you around hour or two, but this one was nearly four hours of recording it. It was absolutely amazing. I love the battery life of this camera. Okay, what more can I say about this camera? Let's summarize everything. If Jose Mourinho, a famous soccer coach, could be a camera, he would be X1, so you either love it or hate it. Build quality is impressive, it brings ton of innovative features that I personally never seen before. Voice command, for instance, is absolutely wonderful. I have no idea how other manufacturers did not implement this before, it is very useful. Camera itself is quite lightweight and comfortable to wear. I wore it on few of my hikes and it was great for taking quick images and recording a bit of video. My biggest issue is that video stabilization and overall field of view uh, on video is quite narrow, which makes video quite shaky if you're running or doing anything at a bit faster pace. So my favorite feature is absolutely a battery life, so camera loves 4 hours of recording and it was amazing. Customer support is hard to reach because servers in China are quite slow and I always got a bounce back email that it was not delivered. So if you want to contact customer support you might want to look at Google Play. They have a developer's email and email Robert is his name. Email him to try to solve issues if you have them with this camera. So customer support is not good but if you email Robert 
uh, he will solve all of, your, all of your issues, he was quite helpful at least to me. Futuristic as it looks, Forium X1 offers a limited amount of things you can do with it. If you're one of those guys who likes tweaking and non-stop making things better, you will be bored to death with this camera. On the other hand, the product does what an action camera should. Record videos and take photos, no white balance, no ISO settings, nothing. For some people this might be an advantage, but for those who like simplicity, this is quite decent camera. Probably the biggest limitation is its use. You can only wear it on head and it is good for first person shots, but for anything else you cannot mount it on a bike, use it on a car, possibilities are quite limited. And I'm also quite bothered with the angle of view, uh, which is 87 degrees only. That is quite ridiculous f for an action camera and that also is connected with the shakiness or pretty poor video stabilization so lower angle looks quite more shakier. Who would I personally recommend this camera? People who do not mind having camera on their heads of course and people who like simple well built products that cannot be tweaked or changed or adjusted. For the price in my opinion camera offers quite interesting features and lots of innovations but it really needs to be developed further. Forum did something different and I really have to applaud them for that. However, its retail price is around 160 bucks and I will try to put some links in the description where you can get it a bit cheaper, but still, for its price there are many many other action cameras that offer quite better video quality for instance and even photo quality. So, if you are an early adopter you will love this camera, but for average action camera user this really is not something that you will want to buy. So if you have any questions about this camera or anything else, please leave a comment below this video. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video and if you would like to find out more, please visit the link in the description of this video which will lead you to full review of this camera and explain some features a bit more in detail than in this video. That was it guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye and happy recording!